Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Torah Spatial. Today I will show you how to create a sediment transport index completely automated using model builder. So let's get started. Let me add my dem file. Go to the add section, add data. This is my dem file. Add. So now to create a model builder, go to the section called Arc Toolbox. Right click the Arc Toolbox section, Add Toolbox. Now let me go to the section called New Toolbox. Now enter the name as Sediment Transport Index. Now, let me go back. So, this is sediment transport index. Click and open. Wait for a few seconds. Let the tool be added to our Arc toolbox. So, this is our sediment transport index. Let me right click, go to the section new and model. So this is our uh, model builder. We're going to build the model. So now let me go to the model, model properties, enter as sediment transport index. Let me label as sediment transport index. Now click OK. So this is our sediment transport index. So let's get started. Go to the search section. So enter as flow direction. Now search. So go to the flow direction spatial analyst. Drag this into our model builder. So this is our flow direction tool. Let me add another tool. Go to the search section. Let me enter as flow accumulation. Now search. So flow accumulation spatial analyst. Now drag this into our model builder. So let me use, go to the section called connect. Now connect these two tools. Click the output flow direction raster, connect to our flow direction, flow accumulation. Mention using click the flow uh, input flow direction raster. Now let me change to an arrow symbol. Now right click, make variables, parameters, input surface raster. So let me rename as. input digital elevation model that is dem now click ok so now now go to the search section enter as slope now search so click slope spatial analyst drag into our model builder So let me connect the input dim to uh, into our slope. For that, uh, let me go to the section called input dim. Okay. Let me double click. So input surface raster. So as an input dim. So in degrees. Now click OK. Now click auto layout. 
so this is our procedure so now let me go again to the search section click as a raster calculator now search so click the raster calculator spatial analyst drag into our model builder so now let me enter the formula we are going to enter the recipe formula to calculate the sediment transport index so now let's add our recipe formula now go to the power let me uh, check here uh, this is our this is the power double click so now let me enter as a flow direction that is sorry flow accumulation click output flow accumulation raster so here so let me divide this flow accumulation divided by let me enter the value 22.13 so okay go to this section and uh, add 0 0.6 so again go to this uh, this side and multiplying again enter the power double click and enter my recipe formula again so let me go to the section called trigonometries trigonometrics uh, go to the sign let me enter the sign so now in that click the slope raster so let me check the slope raster we have output raster so here we have a slope as the output raster so let me go to the output raster now double click okay so now now we have to divide it by uh, let me divide it go to the section so let me divide it by uh, divide by 0 point uh, let me divide by 0 point 0 896 so in this uh, here uh, enter the value as 1.3 so this is our recipe formula to calculate the sediment transport index so let me uh, wait for a few seconds please note this uh, note this down this is the formula for to calculate sediment transport index so now click ok now let me make some changes go to the slope section uh, output raster right click as so right click rename as slope raster So now click OK. So this is our slope raster. Let me check in the raster calculator. So we have so so we, in this uh, we have a slope ra slope raster. Let me uh, make some changes here. Let me remove this. So now let me enter as slope raster. So this is our slope raster. So now click OK. So let me rename as sediment transport index. So now click OK. So let me uh, go to the section called Auto Layout. So let me save this. 
Now let me enter my dem file. Now click OK. This is my dem file. So click OK. Now our model is good to go. It's ready. Let me validate it. Go to the section called validate entire model. So now let us try. Go to the section called run. Now click run. So wait for some time. So model is ready. Let me close this. So let me right click, add to the display. So let me save this, minimize. So this is our uh, sediment transport index model. Let me uh, turn on my dem file. So let me right click, go to the properties. Go to the classified, go to the uh, symbology section and classify. Now, click your desired colors. Let me choose this color. So now click OK, apply and click OK. So uh, from this, um, from this, uh, from this raster, we can observe that. The red indicates the lowest sediment transport and blue indicates the highest sediment transport. So let me show you some highest sediment transport. Overall image has a lower sediment transport. Let me show you few features has a higher sediment uh, transport. So this location, the blue indicates the dark blue color indicates the higher sediment transport. So let me show you another area. It is kind of moderate. These are the few locations where uh, sediment uh, transfer is high. Only a few uh, places. So from this raster, we, have, uh, we can observe that the blue indicates the highest sediment transport and red is of uh, lowest. So let me uh, add another dim file and let's check this out. So let me uh, maximize my tool. Let me right click model parameter now sediment as a model parameter. So now let me again minimize go to the add section add data. Let me add my uh, dim another area. Zoom to the layer. So let me remove this file. So let me uh, rerun this uh, again. So let me save this. So now close this. Go to the R tool box. Now double click, uh, double click our uh, model. So let me input my dem file. This is our dem fi file. Let me choose the output location. So let me enter as sediment transport index. So now save. So now click OK. wait for some time so let me check the error close cancel go to the geoprocessing I made a mistake here environments coordinate system same as an input so now click OK so now let me try again and run this so now let me enter my dem file 
choose my output location as sediment transport index one so let me save this so now click ok so wait for some time so our model has run successfully let me close this again go to this right click properties symbology so go to the classify sections so now let me choose the color i'll choose this color uh, let me click ok so let me turn off my dem file so this is our sediment transport index raster so from this uh, raster it red indicates the lower sediment transport and blue is the highest sediment transport so this is a blue areas and most of our study areas covered by a low sediment transport areas so thanks for watching today i show you how to create uh, a sediment transport index and making it completely automation using a model builder in rgs Please like and subscribe to our channel Terra Spatial for more contents.